think Matt Legg is here to play a part, but he's going to do that to the best of his ability. But it was happening. Hi everybody, I hope you're all well, hope you're enjoying the sun. Uh, I'm down at Dunstable Downs today, uh, getting the sun in, so I thought as I'm at Dunstable, I would do a video about a legendary fighter from Dunstable, who goes by the name of the Iron Man of Dunstable, Cliff Fields. Now, when I was a youngster in the 80s and 90s, I used to hear some about some legendary fighters, and those there were four, and that was Lenny McLean, Norman Buckland, Roy Shaw, and Cliffy Fields and Cliffy Fields only lived down the road from me in Dunstable because I was from Milton Keynes so I was always fascinated by Cliff because I heard so many stories about him now Cliff was a great amateur boxer he was ABA champion in the I think he served in the Navy and he was a Navy champion as an amateur um, he turned professional and he had a record of 11 wins and four losses his 11 wins he had 10 knockouts so it showed the power that he had um, he was very powerful, but his four losses, he was he was susceptible to cuts. So he lost a lot of his fights on cuts. Anyway, um, Cliff was a very powerful man. He was very, very big, very powerful. Uh, and then he, after his boxing career, he turned unlicensed. He went into the unlicensed game, where the most well-known of his fights were the two wins he had against Lenny McLean. Uh, both knockouts. I think one was in the fifth round. Uh, I'm not sure what round the other one was in, but he knocked Lenny McLean out, which shows the strength of the man. Uh, my good friend Bill Cooper was actually at them fights, and he trained with uh, Cliff, uh, and he, he sparred with Cliff, and he was there with Cliff for 40-odd years. Uh, and he told me, on the cobbles, Cliff would have been one of the best in the country as well. So not only was Cliff a good boxer and a good, uh, a good unlicensed fighter, he would have been on the cobbles, one of the best in the country. But he wasn't a bully. And this is what I liked about hearing the stories about Cliff. He wasn't a bully, but he would fight anyone. He was fearless. And I like that type of person. Um, Ray Hill um, has some great stories on Ray's channel. Because Ray actually um, was with Cliff in his prime and did some debt collecting jobs and other bits with Cliff. He's got some great stories. So please tune in to Ray's channel and subscribe. He's got some great stories. I only met Cliff uh, at the very end of his life. I was lucky enough to meet him a couple of times. Uh, my good friends Bill Cooper, Red Menzies, took me over to see Cliff uh, and I put some photos up. And um, yeah, it was a shame because um, I won't go into too much detail at the end of Cliff's life, but he, um, he lost an eye in a, in a fight with a gang of people uh, and his eye got took out and he sort of and he went downhill from there with Cliff. But I won't go into that. But let's remember him in his prime, even Lenny McLean said he was a fantastic fighter, huge, fearless, and respected. Not a bully, not a troublemaker, uh, and one of the people I looked up to, and one of the people I'm, I'm proud to be in his book. Uh, I, I, in fact, I wrote a few chapters, a few paragraphs for the book, and there's a few pictures of me in the book. The book is really, really hard to get hold of now. I think it goes for like £500 now. I saw a copy for £500, but the book is like gold dust. Um, I had a copy of it and I've lost it, so I'm gutted about that. But. Um, yeah, I thought as I'm down here in the, at the beautiful Dunstable Downs, do a little tribute to the legendary Cliff Field. Uh, but if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I've got more videos coming up uh, from Sunday. I'll have the video from down at the Bare Knuckle fight, um, after the fights and maybe some interviews with the fighters. Uh, and I've got some videos coming up of how I went from Woodhill Prison to Wembley Stadium to fight Anthony Joshua. So yeah, please like and subscribe and thank you again.